And I can guarantee you that that guy would have never even known that mountain lion was coming until his fangs were wrapped around the back of his skull. Mountain lions are extremely quiet. These guys are horrible with their muzzle control. Because if I was dude in the orange hat, I'd be like, dude, you sweep me one more time, I'm gonna smack you upside the head. I'm gonna add this to my bucket list. I mean, I thought I had done a lot of amazing hunting, but my hunting feels pretty lame compared to this. Hey everybody, welcome to Gameology. My name is Tim Spike Davis, and I am an avid hunter. I contribute to several major publications. I write and draw hunting cartoons. I've hunted everything from white-tailed deer with bows and arrows I made myself to wild boar down in southern Alabama with a stone knife. I love hunting. Anytime I can go do it, I want to do it. So you join me as we watch these videos and see what we can come up with. Okay, I am seeing a bunch of animals, ones I would never hunt. Got two guys here. One looks like Joe Dirt, and the other guy looks pretty sketchy. They got themselves a nice rig there. Guy's shooting a uh, bolt action rifle with a uh, suppressor. Not sure what they're talking about, but he don't look like a hunter in the white shirt. I don't know why he just handed a guy a gun. <laughs> But they're ready to go hunting. Okay, this guy is waving that barrel. He does not have barrel control at all. He's waving that gun around. No real hunter would be doing that. Another thing too is this guy standing on top of a building, which any animal with decent eyesight would spot that. But you got some uh, what looks like coyotes going through the up. A bunch of coyotes, pack of coyotes. Now he just took two coyotes in one shot. I'm not sure if that's actual. I mean, that could happen. The other coyotes are hauling butt out of there, and that is a fact. Once you shoot, the coyotes are going to be hauling. Do it. Nicely done. That made an amazing shot. Now he's running across this building with his gun loaded. <laughs> This guy's got a sawed off 12 gauge pump action. It's probably more of a home defense. He's handing the guy the rifle. I'm not sure what he's gonna do with the 12 gauge, but again, barrel control, just swipe that dude with his barrel. No real hunter would do that. Now one thing a lot of times people don't notice, and I don't even think games are gonna bring this up, is wind direction, which you don't see much of this brush blowing in the wind, but most animals you're gonna be hunting have a very, very keen sense of smell. And if you're not considering your breeze, if you're upwind of an animal, he ain't gonna be there for long. White shirt guy also, another thing is he stands out like a sore thumb with that outfit. No animal that has keen eyesight is gonna just stand around and let some guy with a white shirt and bald head like that just come walking up. But, could happen. Just like human beings, there's dumb animals, so this guy might get lucky and come across one of them. So yeah, had a big elk shoulder shot right there that's a very good shot if you have a high powered rifle well, it's a deer it's probably a mule deer and if you have a high powered rifle you want to make a shoulder shot because that will drop that animal right in its tracks you don't have to do much tracking again these guys are horrible with their muzzle control oh lord have mercy he just put the gun right in front of this is he hunting the guy or is he hunting a deer because if i was dude in the orange hat i'd be like dude you sweep me one more time i'm gonna smack you upside the head okay yeah i think guy in the white shirt has got some issues with his barrel orange hat guy needs to pick better hunting buddies because i would spend more than 10 seconds with a guy out like that white shirt guy doesn't look like he's had a bath for about a month okay what's he scoping in on here nope another mule deer shoulder shot good shot placement pretty steady for a guy who's just walking around uphill heart rate going again sweeping his buddy guy needs to take a hunter safety course or something white shirt guy looks more like a jeffrey dahmer character than an actual hunter. I don't know if I'd really want this guy standing up on top of this rock. Now, it'll give you a good field of view, but it also lets every animal in the woods see you. And the fact that you think you could sneak up on an animal like that, get a shot off, is pretty ridiculous. And he's looking through a scope while he's walking, which is pretty dumb, too. That's a good way to trip over a tree root, knock your scope out of alignment. This guy needs to go to Cabela's and buy himself an outfit. He looks pretty ridiculous now he's got himself a buck there and got himself a doe he shot the buck man he better get a to process in these deer he's shot three deer already it's letting a lot of meat spoil them coyotes will start coming in and eating them deer up if you don't get to them quick yeah, it's going for another that's a little bit of a spine shot there tell you this guy needs to get some psychological help he's just out here shooting everything that's moving well he kicked his deer that's real sportsmanlike 
Now see, the man finally broke down and went to Cabela's and bought himself a hunting outfit. He just skimped. Now he's shooting on a horizon on a hill. Very unsafe. He's going for the buck again. Up, oh, good shoulder shot placement. Standing, shooting. Man, this guy is... He's, he's amazing, okay? He's got a big old puddle of blood there, and I'm hoping he processed that deer, had himself a cooler, and some good meat. Another one, that's a quarter and away shot, shoulder shot. That deer more than likely would have got up in that runoff. Okay, got a wild boar coming in. He better headshot this puppy. Oh, no, he shoulder shot. Now that thing would have up and run. That wild boar can take some abuse. You only want to do a headshot right between the eyes and just below the ears on a wild boar like that. But he's probably not going to do it right there for a shoulder shot. Yeah, this guy must be shooting some serious soft points or hollow points on these things. Yeah, now that was a gut shot. That boar would have got up and run off from that. This man is gonna have quite the Thanksgiving dinner because he has already shot almost a dozen animals. And I'll tell you one thing, unless he takes care of this meat soon, it's just gonna spoil and it's gonna be a waste of good meat. Now he's going to this 12 gauge shotgun. You gotta pray and spray there if you got another predator coming, mountain lion coming in after your kill, and I can guarantee you that that guy would have never even known that mountain lion was coming until his fangs were wrapped around the back of his skull, but he is a character in a video game, so mountain lions are extremely quiet, and most people don't even know they're in the area until they've already been attacked. That's gonna have to call the DNR and get a tag for that mountain lion man is going to have an insane taxidermy bill. This man must own a few oil wells. Oh, here comes another mountain lion. He's changing guns. He's got time to change. Oh, man. Butt shot that cougar right in the rear end, and it just fell over dead. He's got an AK-47 now. He's going full jihad on these animals. Lord have mercy. And those must be some fancy glasses he has on, because I can't see a thing. Oh, got a big old mule deer spine shot. Uh, another mountain lion. Now this is the highest density of mountain lions I have ever seen. This must be a place rare to North America because you see that many mountain lions in one area. And here comes another one. Lord have mercy. This man must have more cougar tags. He's getting them. Now that was a wild boar. That is a big pig. Now that man's going to have a lot of bacon, pork chops, and the mountain lion wants a piece of it, but he got some lead for it. And another mountain lion. Lord have mercy. This man must have the largest man cave in the world to taxidermy all these animals. Now he's at night. It's dusk. And this guy probably can't see squat, but he's probably still going to shoot at something moving. Which is a good way to either shoot your hunting buddy or something you're not really wanting to shoot at. We'll see what he gets. If something's moving there. He shot something in the brush. Hope to God he's got a license for it. Let's see. Well, this guy supposedly passed. Oh, he's going for rabbits now. And if this guy shoots a rabbit with an AK-47, I mean, high-powered scope rifle for a rabbit. Now, that is not sportsmanlike at all. There's no one who does that. No one does it. No one uses a rifle on rabbits. 12-gauge shotgun, if that. Maybe a 410. Maybe a 22 at the most. But now you got dragons. Lord have mercy, we've gone Game of Thrones on now. Man, you'd want the right kind of rifle to shoot that thing. Because if you don't brain them or get a good shot off, that dude's going to toast you in the next week. Yeah, get in your little Corvette. No one ever rides a red Corvette, especially in Britain. He just got in on the right-hand side. We driving in the UK here? Must be, because I guess that's the only place I know where dragons are. And he's hauling butt down the road. He's shot that dragon. He's like, oh man, I forgot my tags at home. I better go home and get my dragon tags. A helicopter. Oh my goodness. Now this is the adventure of a lifetime. Shoot at a dragon from a helicopter. I'm going to add this to my bucket list. I mean, I thought I had done a lot of amazing hunting, but I have yet to shoot at a dragon with a heat-seeking missile. Oh my gosh. My hunting feels pretty lame compared to this. Uh, I thought I was hunting hogs with a stone knife, but this guy's hunting a dragon with a heat-seeking missile. Seriously. And he needs to get his money back because them missiles are all not doing their job. So I, that's a lot of money. I mean, man, when I shoot just a 2-2-3 round, I'm counting how much that costs. This thing, this guy's just blown probably $250,000 on missiles just to miss on this dragon. 
Oh my gosh, now he's using an RPG. This dragon is seriously tough, taking a lot of damage. He needs to read Game of Thrones and see what kind of weapons he used there, because clearly these modern weapons are not effective on dragons. And now, once he actually shoots this dragon, he's going to have to find a taxidermist that's willing to taxidermy a full-size dragon. And I don't even know if he's going to have anything left to taxidermy after he gets done blowing this thing up. Oh my gosh, and now he's gone into a Gatlin gun here. On the, and everyone behind this dragon is getting lead sprayed down the beach. People down on the beach there are like, what is all that noise? They're getting lead thrown on you know? Last time I heard it, dragons were in danger. So I, I myself personally would take a pass on hunting a dragon. Unless it was a bad dragon. Unless that dragon was hurting other people, i take a pass. I just think, you know, dragons probably should just be left alone. Hey everybody, thanks so much for joining us at Experts React on Gameology. If you want to see more of these amazing videos, check out Gameology on YouTube, on Facebook. If you want to see any more of my stuff, check out Tim Spike Davis at ScatteredThoughtsCartoons.com. I'll see you guys out hunting. Be safe. God bless. Bye. Okay. I don't know what that means. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Sorry, let me go back in. Oh yeah, I got it. Yep. My brain is... Uh... Okay, safety third.